Hi, welcome to uh, another incident of Chili Chun. Um, I had so much fun making that margarita that I wanted to do something else uh, boozy. And it's still not pepper season. I'm waiting patiently. It's almost here, but it's not here yet. And so I'm having to go with some dried peppers. But I wanted to play with ghost peppers, so I got some uh, Frida's dried ghost peppers. And uh, I thought it'd be fun uh, to make a summertime drink to hopefully conjure uh to conjure pepper season to get here and so i thought it might be fun in a way to make a michelada um it's like a beer bloody mary if you're not from a region where that's normal <laughs> but in san antonio it very much is it's a great happy hour drink especially when it's hot um but i thought uh, I wonder if anybody's ever had a ghost pepper michelada. And so I'm not, this isn't exactly like a gourmet engineering experience here, but I am going to take a couple of like nice dried ghost peppers and throw them in with some michelada mix, which is a good kind with the clam in it, and then uh, have some beer. And so um, I'll be honest, this is the first time I will have consumed this much ghost pepper. It is dried, so I'm hoping that makes it a little milder, maybe. Is it? <laughs> Ooh, it's such a, a bewitching kind of smell. It smells deadly, but it smells really beautiful too. Very floral. Do I dare do more than one? Man, I mean, that's... Ugh. A couple of good red ones. There. So two dried ghost peppers in there. Ooh, I'm already scared. Um, then we're gonna take some uh, michelada mix. The spread is from Texas, yeah. But honestly, you can get me. Well, I don't know. If you live in South Texas, you can get michelada mix everywhere, up to and including the gas station. But um, elsewhere, this might be harder to find. But I guess you could use Bloody Mary mix in a pinch with a little like clamato in it. Um, but yeah, so I'm adding more than I intend to use. I want to make sure the ghost peppers get uh, blended up pretty good. I don't know if I'm brave enough for a big chunk of ghost pepper in the middle of my beer yet, but I mean, here I am doing this. And so we're going to just uh, blend up the ghost peppers, man. Again, good and tight with this kind of stuff. For God's sake, you don't want to be cleaning this stuff up or accidentally getting it in your face because... <laughs> So we should have a mostly um, liquid. <laughs> liquid uh, meets a lot of mix, and it does look like it's liquefied those ghost peppers pretty good. I don't see any traces in here. So we're going to add, um, well, really, actually, um, I guess it's kind of a taste thing, because I've seen lots of different amounts of this in Michelada. I don't want a ton. I like a little kick to my beer, but not a bunch. So we're going to just put a little bit, a little more, in there. And then we're going to very carefully pour our beautiful Modelo in here. Because it's going to do that. It gets all evil and fizzy. And so, if you never had a michelada, it's like... Uh, the working man's Bloody Mary, <laughs> uh, and it's a good pick me up when it's hot. It's a good pick me up when you're tired and you got to go do outdoorsy stuff and it's early. Um, it's a good pick me up when you're bored. Like it, it, I rarely have more than one. Uh, I usually revert back to normal beer after that. Oh, that's a lot of a lot of angry peppers right there. But as you can see, mix that up a little bit. We have a pretty nice looking little beer there. And just give it a tiny uh, squeeze the lime. This is optional, but that was running all over. But I do like a little bit of lime in my Michelin. Um, plus, then you can do cute glass decorations like bartenders like to do. Oh. Look at it. It's got a little lemon butt on it, or a lime butt, excuse me. Anyway, so we made a beautiful ghost pepper michelada, right? And the aroma 
it's really something else. I can smell the michelada makes the salsa uh, almost celery like cilantro like kind of clam. Uh, you can smell the, the 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 clam a little bit, but then it's got this undertone of that floral note from the ghost pepper. But the anger is hidden away, and then you got a little bit of lime, and then your your nice refreshing beer smell. And so, uh, yeah. So this is uh, happy hour chili chen style uh, part two. So cheers to you and yours. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. I'm really happy everybody keeps coming back. In the last couple, uh, what was it, last 28 days, we've had over 20 hours of Chili Tone to be watched, which may not sound like a lot for, you know, YouTube rock stars, but for me, I'm like, <laughs> that's awesome. So uh, please keep coming back. Click, click subscribe. Uh, send me a comment. Talk to me. I'm here. Uh, and I, I do this for y'all um, and for me because it's kind of fun. So uh, please, it, it, those following at home, go get your ghost pepper michelada and raise your glasses salute uh cheers to you and yours i love you guys and appreciate you and uh let's we'll see what happens here mm. Ooh. so meet you a lot of taste and then you get um a pretty potent floral burst on the the back of it and it, 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 it's a really kind of intoxicating aroma because it's, it's musty and smoky and, and, and floral. And, and it's a bunch of stuff that, again, in the case of chili pepper booze, like your brain gets a little bit misled. And so it doesn't expect uh, the sensations that you get, you know, the flavors and the aromas that you get. So it's even better because it's like this very surprising kind of, whoa. <laughs> And so the ghost pepper does come through um, and the uh, sneaky, seductive, slightly creepy way the ghost pepper starts to light you up is definitely there. Um, it's starting to set in now. It takes a while, but it's, it's creeping, a creeping uh, burn down, just marching down my throat. Uh, but. I love ghost pepper because it's surprisingly gentle with the way it hurts you. It's very caring and nurturing and, and eases you into the pain that you're in. And it hurts in a different way. Like it doesn't uh, cause like this burst of pain the way that like biting into a fresh pepper does. It's more of like an orchestral swell of pain. But the flavor, man, that's really something else. Um, Well, I guess some, maybe some sips contain more ghost pepper than others as far as an additive effect, but oh, it really does get pretty hot after a while. <sighs> but it's really refreshing. Like, I feel like if you want to get your lawn done and get it done, like, right now, go have one of these and start that mower, man. You'll be in there in no time. You'll be running around the yard pouring sweat no matter what the temperature is, and, and you'll be feeling uh, strangely enlightened, I think. As a ghost pepper does that, it makes you. It makes me philosophical. Habanero makes me uh, terrified, but ghost pepper, it's a thinking man's pepper. Uh, it ought to be. You know, it's from it's from India, where the most esoteric philosophy seem to come from. Maybe it's because they're eating ghost peppers. You ever think about that? So um, anyway, thanks for watching my video. I didn't die, um, and I think actually. This would be a really nice way to introduce somebody to, you know, hot peppers, because if they if they like the flavors, because it's it's by the time it gets pretty hot, it'll be too late for them to really do anything about it. <laughs> um, and it spreads across like your your gums, your lips, everything gets nice and that that almost enjoyable tingling sensation that you get from ghost pepper. And it's a good fun pepper. I like it. And I'm saying that now because I haven't had a hole in yet. But when it when it happens, I got a plant growing outside. When it happens, I'm probably not gonna say that. But yeah, you should you should try this. Um, go get you some michelada mix. Go get you some dried ghost peppers. Get you a beer. Get you a blender if you don't have one, and you know, have yourself a, a pretty spicy happy hour. But yeah, thanks for watching Chili Time. We'll see you um, with whatever we do next. Probably a hot sauce review, right?